So we're going to go to our apps and we're going to select categories. We're going to scroll down to where it says utilities. And we're going to download the downloader app. This is so that we can go ahead and get the Kodi application. So go ahead and let it download. It'll take just a few seconds to install and then we're going to go ahead and open it. Just hit OK. And now it's already got the HTTP, so the website we're going to put in is Kodi, K O D I dot TV slash download. We're going to hit go, and now we're going to scroll down a little bit until you see the little Android guy. There he is right there on the right. We're going to click him, and we're going to select the 32-bit download. So it's the blue box in the middle. It's going to just take a few seconds here to download, and then we can just go ahead and open Kodi. All right, now that it's downloaded, at the bottom right-hand side, you'll see where it says install. Go ahead and click that. Right down there, we're going to see open, and you're going to open that, and the Kodi screen will pop up. Now, this is where we install Titanium, which is the build for Kodi, which gives you all the add ons that you're going to use to watch TVs and TV shows and movies. All right, so now it's initialized and started. So we're going to go up. It's a little gear in the middle there. It's going to say settings. We're going to go down to where it says file manager. We're going to add source. And the source that we're going to add is going to be HTTP colon slash slash R-E-P-O dot Supreme Builds, B-U-I-L-D-S dot com. And that will give you the availability to download the Titanium build. And once you type in the site, you're going to hit OK. And then it's going to ask you to, to name the site. And I just named it Supreme. You can name it whatever you want just so that you can remember it. All right, so down here at the bottom, this is where we're going to name it. And like I said, I just name it Supreme, but you can do whatever you'd like. I'm going to hit OK. And you hit the back button and the back button again. 
Here, scroll down to where it says add-ons. And there's going to be like a little package up at the top left. You're going to click that. And down there, it's going to say install from zip file. Now, there's going to be a little thing where you have to go to settings and then say hit OK for unknown sources. You're going to hit yes and hit the back button again. Go back to where it says uninstall. And then you're going to hit down to where you named it the Supreme and then the repository. And now you're going to scroll up. Once you see at the top right hand corner, it's going to go ahead and say it's that it was installed. Now you're going to go install from repository. Scroll down there. Program add ons. And then this is, you're going to go ahead and select install. And give it a minute. It's going to pop up in the right corner like that. And then it'll go ahead and give you the build menu. You're going to hit dismiss on this. It's just saying welcome. It may do it a few times, but the build menu will come up. Top right hand corner of the wizard was installed. Once again, you hit dismiss, you hit OK. Now it's going to give you a series of servers. I just hit the USA 1. You can do USA 1, 2, 3, whatever you like, but I just always go with 1. You're going to scroll down to where it says fresh install. Go ahead and click that. Hit continue. And now this will probably take about five minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and speed it up um, for it to download and to initialize. So it is finished, and you're going to hit Force Closed. And what that will do, we'll go ahead and close out the uh, the Kodi app. And now it's going to go back to the screen. Just hit the Home button, no big deal. All right, so now scroll down a few times to where it says Your Apps, because the Kodi app won't be right up front because you haven't used it yet. And you're going to go to See All. Now scroll all the way down, and you'll see the Kodi app right there with the blue and white K. Alright, so once you've clicked on the Kodi app, it's going to go ahead and open like normal. And you should see the titanium screen look something like this. And this is going to be your main menu. So basically you could select movies, select TV shows, live TV, sports, whatever you want. Um, any of the TV shows and movies, I always use Placenta. I know it's a weird name, but it's the best one to use. And once you open it up, you'll kind of get the hang of it.